In this video, we will learn how to install automatic transfer switch in which we will learn how automatic transfer switch works. Also learn a complete wiring in which we will learn how to connect a power wiring in automatic transfer switch. Also learn a control wiring. So let's start and first understand application of this automatic transfer switch. For example, we have two power supply. One is main power supply and second is generator power supply. It could be UPS power supply, inverter power supply or solar panel supply. And also in if your house, if you have two phase supply, so you can install this automatic transfer switch. Okay. When your main power supply will off, so your load will run on generator power supply or inverter power supply. When your main supply comes, so your load automatically transfer to main power supply. So hope you clear the working concept of this automatic transfer switch. Now learn more about this automatic transfer switch. This automatic transfer switch is made by CNC company, which model number you can see on your screen. Now you can see this is automatic transfer switch power terminals in which you need to connect a power supply which could be main power supply or generator power supply or solar panel supply okay it's power terminal and it is a control terminals by which your automatic transfer switch works automatically so it is your control terminal now you can see here normal power supply need to connect here our main power supply so main power supply we connect this circuit breaker for normal power supply we need to connect a phase and neutral here and if you have source b so for source b our generator power supply or inverter power supply we connect this circuit breaker you can see here generator power supply so we connect a generator power supply output to source B here phase and neutral. So we have two power supply source A which is main power supply and source B which is generator power supply and also for output load control for load we connect one bulb. So we also connect one circuit breaker for load so need to connect a phase and neutral here to load connector. So hope you clear the concept of power wiring which is very simple. Now see control wiring. You can see here AR and AN. So connect one connector from AR terminal to source AR terminal. Okay. Now for neutral we connect N terminal here to this AN terminal. Okay. N as a neutral and R is a phase wire. So connect one connector from AR to R and AN to N. Now same connection for source B you can see here we connect a BR to one connector here and for BN to connect a neutral connector here okay we connect a BN to neutral connector and if you want to connect any of the indicator trip alarm or buzzer circuit so you can use this relay you can see here NC common and off terminal if you want to connect any indicator buzzer or alarm so you can use this relay terminal you can see here we have indicator a this indicator a is for main power supply or normal power supply and also we have indicator b this indicator b is for generator power supply inverter power supply or which could be used okay so we have two indicator this automatic transfer switch is used for 100 ampere load and operating voltage is 220 volt ac okay. Now in this automatic transfer switch, we have two modes, auto mode and manual mode. If you select manual mode, you can change your power supply manually here. If you want to run your load manually on main power supply, so you can select main power supply. If you want to run your load on generator power supply, so you can select generator power supply. Okay. If you want to transfer your load automatically, so you can select auto mode. Okay in auto mode your load always run on main power supply if your main power supply is stop so your load transfer to generator power supply if main power supply comes again so your load transfer automatically to main power supply okay so you can select auto and manual mode also here which is very useful now let's see complete installation of this automatic transfer switch okay 
first connect this automatic transfer switch to this dendral chain okay we connect here now for main power supply we connect one circuit breaker here you can see here for main power supply and second circuit breaker for generator power supply or inverter power supply okay so we connected two circuit breaker also we connect one more circuit breaker for controlling load okay so for load control we connect one circuit breaker also here okay and as a load we connect one bulb as you know okay. now let's see input connection so first we connect phase and neutral wire from main power supply to circuit breaker first you can see here we connect phase wire to circuit breaker first neutral wire for circuit breaker first okay this is our main power supply and for secondary power supply which could be generator power supply or inverter power supply so we connect a phase and neutral here to this second circuit breaker so our input power supply connection is done now for output power supply we connect a phase wire here to circuit breaker first to connect a normal power supply source r terminal source a r terminal here and neutral connection to source a neutral terminal okay it's a very simple connection now same connection for secondary source which could be generator wire so we connect a neutral wire here to connect this source b and terminal now we connect to phase wire so we connect one connector from mcb phase to source b r terminal okay so our input power supply is connection is now done in this automatic changeover switch now we connect output wire so we connect a neutral wire you can see here automatic transfer switch neutral wire connect here to load mcb neutral terminal okay so output neutral connection is done same connection for phase wire automatic transfer switch phase wire connect here to load mcb phase wire you can see here now automatic transfer switch power wiring is now done now starts control wiring okay so control wiring also is very simple first you need to connect a r terminal okay a r terminal you can see here so we connect one connector to a r terminal to connect this connector to source a r terminal okay so we connect here to source a r terminal and connection make sure fully tight okay now for neutral connection we connect one connector to a n terminal to source a n terminal okay so we connect a n terminal to source a n terminal it is it is a very simple control wiring for this automatic transfer switch okay now it's our control wiring done is for source a wiring okay now same connection for source b we connect one connector from b n terminal for neutral wire okay b n terminal to connect a source b n terminal okay source b n terminal now connect a phase wire from b r terminal to source b r terminal okay it's a very simple control wiring okay now our power and control wiring is now done now connect a load mcb output wire which is we connect to one load so we connect a phase wire to output mcb here and neutral wire connect to here now let's see working of this automatic transfer switch okay if your main power supply on so your load run always on main power supply okay now we start secondary power supply with generator power supply now you can see here both indicator is glowing okay if your main power supply is stop so your load automatically transfer to generator power supply if main power supply comes so your load automatically transfer to main power supply so you can see here your load always run on main power supply if main power supply off so your load transfer to generator power supply if your main power supply comes so your load transfer to main power supply is simple now we select a manual mode here manually okay we select a manual mode if you want to run your load on main power supply so you can select manually here if you want to run your load on generator power supply so you can select manually generator power supply so 
on which your load you want to run you can select a manual here if you select a manual mode okay so hope you clear the all concept of this automatic transfer switch if you like this video please press like button if you have any query please ask in comments box for today's enough we'll meet next video thanks for watching